Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. The Era of Everyone Becomes a God, the Hardest God in History. Chapter 21 Seemingly seeing the distressed expression on Chen Heoren's face, senior sister Xu Xiaoman came up to him. How Ran, are you worried about money? Chen Heoren sighed, yeah, a penny can't beat a hero. It's easy to do without money, senior sister Xiaoman blinked, you go to the park, or go hiking or some tourist attraction, and you meet someone who is about your age and is a high school student, go up and challenge, and bet directly, wouldn't that be all right? As long as you are superior and keep winning, then you will always be rich. Well, as expected of senior sister Xiaoman, I am still too naive, and my thinking is only limited to school. Chen Heoren slapped his forehead, deeply admiring senior Xiaoman's Luzie. By the way, Chen Heoren thought of the 50,000 common currency he won from Qian Duoduo today. A lot of money and a lot of money. But to be honest, he is not particularly rich in the entire Amber domain, he can only be said to be a rich family. A sentence from senior sister Xiaoman pointed out a sunny road for Chen Heoren. He thought of a place, the God's Training Gym. The God Training Gyms are distributed in various places in the Amber Domain, which are somewhat similar to the gyms in the previous life. Because gods are the most important thing in this world, the strength of gods determines the status of human beings in the crystal wall system of the heavens. Say 1000 ways and 10,000 ways, all races and heavens are fighting for hegemony, and being able to fight is the kingly way. Therefore, cultivating the strength of the gods in the clan is the most important thing. The gods training gym is the product that came into being in this way. There, battles between the gods are happening all the time, and there are many battles with wagers. In the god training gymnasium, no matter whether it is a demigod or a true god, you can get some training here. The gods in the gym have different strengths, like demigod battle masters, and some of them are high school students who earn extra money there. There are also gods of all levels of true gods, but they should not be too high end. After all, gods with too mighty power are not allowed to stay in the realm of the cradle of gods. Their power is too majestic, and the rules of the realm of the cradle of gods cannot bear such a mighty power. After staying in the club for a while, Chen Heoren made up his mind. He searched the map and went to the nearest god training gym. The Lingzi god training gym is one of the more famous gyms in the Amber Domain. According to what the teacher in the school said, after igniting the divine fire from a demigod, one can advance to become a true god. And there are five levels of true gods. The master of the gymnasium in the spiritual training gymnasium is the fourth order powerhouse of the true god. The building of the gymnasium is magnificent, solemn and majestic. A huge long sword was inserted vertically into the ground at the door, dividing the door into left and right sides. Just entering the gymnasium, a sweet voice sounded. Hello, sir. Are you coming to our gymnasium to sign up for training, or to fight? This voice is not a real human being, but a customer service similar to the existence of an intelligent brain. Hmm. Chen Heoren thought for a while and said, fight. Your strength is a demigod. How long have you been a demigod? Half a month. Half a month's demigod, I got it. The sweet voice was recorded on the system. Through the fighting platform in the Lingchen God Training Gym, you can fight with people of similar strength in the entire Amber Domain. In addition, if you want to participate in the battle with wagers, you need to pay a certain deposit. Chen Heoren listened quietly, the rules are quite simple. To put it simply, it is to use common currency as a bet, and then match you with people of comparable strength. There is no need to worry about the mismatch of strength. Just like what the voice asked him just now, he had advanced to become a god, half a month in the demigod stage, although it seemed that Chen Heoren himself reported it to her. But in fact, at least the data retrieved from the database has been verified, and he has also checked his divine aura, which is not something he can do just by talking nonsense. The battle platform in the Lingzi God Training Gym has pretty good facilities. It will not only display the information of the opponents he played against, but also his past record level and analysis. In addition, the battle results in the entire Amber Domain are divided into several levels, the lowest level is Copper Amber. Chen Heoren belongs to this level. But this kind of battle is actually not easy to win all the time, because if you keep winning, the ranking of his matching opponent will rise until it rises to 55 with him. In addition to this kind of global matching, 
there are also some face-to-face -face battles with real people. Right in the gym, it's a way to make friends. Maybe we will become good friends without knowing each other. According to the information Chen Heoran found in the information center, there are quite a few wretched men in the school who hope to use this method in the gymnasium to meet some young ladies. Maybe their excellent methods of cultivating believers and wise tactics just won the favor of the young lady. Of course Chen Heoran knew that these people wanted to eat peaches. But he is here, and he really wants to find a long-term opponent like Qian Duoduo. When he was wandering around the Lingzi God's training gym, he saw a chubby fat man who was fighting a fierce battle with his opponent. Fatty's followers are shapeless, ooze like, swamp monsters. Mire monsters are a race with a race potential of D. They are in swampy environments on their home ground, for example, in Little Fatty's God's domain. They are quite strong. Depending on the terrain, they can display good strength. Even you it is very difficult to destroy it, because it can lurk into the swamp anytime and anywhere, so it can be said to be a very good defensive race. The believer race under the opponent's command is a flame feather sparrow with flames all over its body. That's the flame feather sparrow. Chen Heoran was startled. Seeing that Chen Heoran has fought so many opponents up to now, there are no believer races who can display their attribute attacks. The races that can display their own energy attributes have the potential to be relatively excellent races. Chen Heoran quickly checked the information. Sure enough, the Flame Feather Sparrow is a race with a race potential of circa. Although this fat swamp monster has strong defense capabilities, it relies on the swamp environment. As we all know, swamps are most afraid of fire-type energy supply, so it can be said that it is firmly restrained. What's more, the Flame Feather Sparrow's racial potential is C, not only can it unleash a fire attribute attack, but it can also fly extremely fast in the sky, so the Mire monster can only be beaten passively. I don't know how the little fat man agreed to fight this Flame Feather Sparrow god, maybe he didn't know it at the beginning. Fortunately, it's a virtual god's domain war. If it's a death god's domain war, all of Fatty's believers will probably be wiped out after this one. Sure enough, the development of the matter did not go beyond Chen Heoran's expectations, the Flame Feather Sparrow was the attacking party. Straight into the little fat man's domain. When the divine domains of both sides intersect, the respective gods cannot change the terrain at will in the divine domain. This is because the divine domains with different rules on both sides interfere with each other. Although the area of the swamp in Little Fatty's God's domain is very large, it has already been dried step by step under the constant attacks of the Flame Feather Sparrow. The scope of activities of the Mire Monster was gradually reduced, which made the Little Fat Man very uncomfortable. He tried to stop the Mire Monster and attack with mud, but the Flame Feather Sparrow flew extremely fast in the air, and it was a breeze to dodge such an attack. In the end, the swamp was transpired, and all the Meyer monsters were wiped out. This is a massacre, Chen Heoran's judgment is very accurate. The little fat man reluctantly accepted the fact of failure, and suffered a betting loss of 5,000 universal credit currency. The spirit of Flame Feather Sparrow is a fiery red-haired girl with a long ponytail and tights, showing off her curvaceous figure. At this time, she was looking at the onlookers with a proud expression, and the people she saw were a little dodgy, and most of the demigods who watched the demigod battle here were also demigods. Can you expect a true god to be here watching a group of demigods fight? So at the demigod level, it can be said that the strength of this fiery red-haired girl is quite strong. But at this moment, Chen Heoran kept praying in his heart. He had seen the expression of this fiery red-haired girl before on Qian Duoduo. Say it quickly, say you want to challenge everyone present. Chen Heoran prayed in his heart that a script like Qian Duoduo would unfold. However, the fiery red-haired girl obviously didn't have the range of ridicule skills like Qian Duoduo. She shook her head with some unfinished thoughts, as if she was about to leave the gymnasium. Chen Heoran became anxious and took a step with his left foot. Friend, please stay. Um, the girl with the long ponytail turned her head suspiciously and looked at Chen Heoran. What does this person want? She guessed in her heart, acting suspiciously. Chen Heoran cleared his throat. He said slowly, I think your flame feather sparrow is indeed very strong. However, there is also an obvious shortcoming, that is, the lack of durability. 
If you encounter one that can resist your fire attribute attack, I don't think you can win. It must be you. Chen Heioran's eyes were full of sincerity. Although he was very frank, he said that her believer's race was not good in front of the other party's words. Wasn't that a slap in the face on the spot? The fiery red-haired girl immediately became angry. What do you know? At the demigod level, how many people can stop a wave of attacks from my flame feather sparrow race? Let's talk about the surrounding people, who can stop it, let him stand up. She looked around proudly, with a feeling that at this moment, all the people present are rubbish, and I am invincible and lonely. Here comes the range challenge. The girl with fiery red hair and long ponytail really played her cards according to the routine. Chen Heioran felt very relieved. I know there is one. Who? The girl with the long ponytail was alert. That person is me. Chen Heioran looked sincere. You. The girl glanced at Chen Heioran and suddenly smiled. I understand, you just said that on purpose just to get me to challenge you, right? She chuckled, actually, you don't need to bother, just say challenge, and I'll definitely agree. Anyway, it won't take much time. The fiery red-haired girl's face was full of pride, as if she felt that she had the chance to win and it was impossible to lose. All right, your provocative skills seem to be on the mend. Chen Heioran secretly praised. How much is the bet? The girl asked sassily. 50,000 common currency. Become. In this way, another game began. Because it is a virtual god's domain war, believers will not die in the end anyway, it is all virtual. Chen Heioran split up the mountain trolls and primitive human warriors from the very beginning. Pounce directly on the lair of the flame-feathered sparrow race of girls with long ponytails. Although the flame-feather sparrow can fly very fast in the sky, it must return to its habitat to rest or recharge after flying for a period of time. Otherwise, they could fly in the sky and launch fire attribute attacks all the time, so it wouldn't be a perpetual motion machine. How could it be just a race with a race potential of C? This time he went straight to his lair, which made the girl with long ponytail look a little surprised, as if she didn't expect that Chen Heioran would dare to take the initiative to attack. Chen Heioran decided to divide his troops into two groups, and the primitive human fighters along the way were regarded as abandoned sons on Chen Heioran's side. After all, they don't have a strong self-healing ability. He was going to do his best to keep the mountain demon, and with a wave of divine spells, holy shield, and courage, he demolished the nest of the flaming feather sparrow, and saw who could survive the other. He just observed the battle between the girl with the long ponytail and the fat man, and he found that at the end of the battle, Flame Feather Sparrow's physical strength was actually a little bit exhausted. This race has a strong explosive ability, but its stamina is really not good enough. Chen Heioran felt that he still had a good chance of winning, that's why he had the scene just now, otherwise he was doomed to lose, so why would he make trouble? The development of the script did not exceed Chen Heioran's expectations. The primitive human warriors were taken away by the Fire Feather Sparrow, and the mountain troll successfully demolished the fire feather sparrow's nest, and finally the battle of attrition between the fire feather sparrow and the mountain troll. The poor little sparrows were so tired that they couldn't even fly. In the end, all the sparrows stood on the ground, unable to breathe out the fire, unable to fly, and were easily taken away by the mountain trolls. The expression of the girl with the long ponytail is very exciting, from the arrogance at the beginning to the pride after the primitive human warriors were wiped out, to the annoyance after the bird's nest was demolished, to the anxious look on the face when the battle situation was anxious, and to the final dejection. Actually, you almost won. Chen Heioran said sincerely. Quote dot dot dot. The girl with the long ponytail has a distorted expression. You saw it just now, I also relied on two magic spells to fight to the end. In fact, the girl with the long ponytail felt that what Chen Heioran said made sense, and she was indeed a little bit worse, so she was a little bit reconciled. But these words came out of Chen Heioran's mouth so cheaply, why did he deserve such a beating? Chen Heioran sighed, actually, do it again, you can win. What he said seemed like modest words, but it made the girl with the long ponytail want to hit him even more. It's your luck this time, and next time I will ask you to have a fight to see who is more powerful. Chen Heioran's eyes lit up, waiting for your words. Okay, then it will be the same next time. The time is up to you. When you are ready. 
What do you mean when I'm ready? The girl with the long ponytail gritted her teeth angrily. This is my citizen number, just contact me when the time comes. Okay. The girl didn't want to see Chen Heoran's annoying expression anymore, so she turned her head and left. Seeing the girl with the long ponytail leave angrily, Chen Heoran shook his head. This wave, this wave is a win-win situation. Chen Heoran won twice, not only won this time, but also set the next date. Glancing at the battle platform, Chen Heoran's mind sank into it. Is the biggest bet 50,000 common currency? Chen Heoran understood. Let's start with Copper Amber. There are not many people who bet the same amount of 50,000 common currency, and the ranking score is similar to that of Chen Heoran. After queuing for a while, Chen Heoran finally arrived. Enter, fight, defeat, exit. Very chic. This money is a bit easy to get. Chen Heoran turned on the liver emperor mode. Win, 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 win. After winning 10 games in a row, Chen Heoran felt that he was hollowed out. The wallet in his pocket has also risen to 600,000 common currency. The legend of the tea stove open for him is too perverted. At the kindergarten level where he had just become a demigod, Chen Heoran felt that he was simply invincible. No one's output can break through Chen Heoran's magic second company. Chen Heoran estimates that his current strength has almost reached the level of senior high school students. However, he also felt that as the ranking rose, his opponents also rose all the way, and it became more and more difficult to win. He's a little tired now, should he go home and rest, or should he line up again? Looking at his wallet, Chen Heoran finally made up his mind with a sense of earning money. Lose one and go home. Win, 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 move up. After winning three more games, Chen Heoran successfully rose to the Silver Amber level. At the Silver Amber level, you can bet 100,000 common currency each time you win or lose. Chen Heoran licked his lips. He kept winning, and he felt that he was numb. Finally, after entering the first battle of Silver Amber, the enemy of 100,000 universal currency appeared. This time, Chen Heoran's arrogance was suppressed. Hey, boy, you have won 13 games in a row, and you really think you are the protagonist of destiny. Remember, I'm Rodas, a third-year senior at Youth Academy. There are three races under the opponent's seat, each of which has mastered energy attribute attacks. Chen Heoran was finally defeated. Youth Academy. Chen Heoran searched, these are the three university campuses in Annan Prefecture in the Amber Domain. I remember that the Shining Star Cup competition is going to Annan Mansion to compete, and I will meet him then. Just mocking the other party for revealing his name, this matter can't end so easily. Generally speaking, the higher the number of common currencies, the higher the level of the enemy. After all, if you don't have confidence in yourself, who would choose this? As can be seen from the arranged enemy hierarchy, Chen Heoran is now. It is still an enemy at the Silver Amber level who can't beat the 100,000 general currency. Chen Heoran felt a little distressed by the loss just now. Take a look at your common currency balance. More than 650,000 common currencies. It is enough to promote the blood of primitive humans to bronze humans. Not much nonsense, Chen Heoran bought it directly. The wallet that had just bulged up quickly dried up again. Hey, the resource investment of God's domain is really a bottomless pit. Not to mention talent activation, energy sensing also requires resource investment. There is still one month before the midterm exam, and one and a half months before the Shining Star Cup. During this time, Chen Heoran still needs to make a lot of preparations. Especially the Shining Star Cup is a competition for all demigods in the entire Amber Domain. It is conceivable that there will be many people who master the energy attribute attack of the three races ranked just now. There are even many who are on the verge of igniting the divine fire, infinitely close to the true god. If you want to get a good ranking, you still have to watch the card draw. Oh, no, it depends on your hard work. Consciousness returns to one's own god domain, and the two major races in these heavenly god domains live and work in peace and contentment. A thriving scene in god's domain. Use the primitive human bloodline advancement card you just bought. Chen Heoran meditated in his heart, and saw that the primitive humans working on the ground were all tall and their muscles swelled, and their clothes would burst. This, 
Chen Heioran wiped off his cold sweat. No one ever said that people with advanced bloodlines still wear explosive clothes. The primitive human family guards their homeland and serves the gods devoutly. I feel their piety and bless this family. After using up the advanced bloodline card, Chen Heioran still did not forget to say a word. These words were like the sound of thunder exploding in the sky, rolling and rumbling, spreading throughout the entire divine realm. It not only appeased the fear of the primitive human beings about the changes just now, but also made the mountain troll race more motivated. It's like some bosses in the previous life like to praise a certain colleague in front of all colleagues. The purpose is not only to honor the person, but also to stimulate other colleagues. Thank you God Yanwang for his blessing. Thank you God Yanwang for his blessing. Thank you God Yanwang for his blessing. The primitive human beings advanced through this wave of blood, and all of them knelt down on the ground with excited expressions, and their voices became one. If you believe in the gods devoutly, you will be blessed. This deepened their faith. Hint, you have obtained a fanatic. Hint, you have obtained 14 devout believers. Hint, you have obtained 150 deep believers. Fanatic. Chen Heioran swept his gaze, and saw a muscular man with a shiny head in the crowd, bumping his head on the ground, kneeling with special force. His bald head knocked out a shallow pit on the ground. Chen Heioran couldn't help but laugh. He checked what happened in the god's domain. It turned out that this man was the first generation of hominids, and with a long lifespan, he would naturally get sick and his body functions would decline. But just now, Chen Heioran made them all undergo bloodline advancement. This time, the advancement from primitive human to bronze human is not just a change in strength and physique. More importantly, the essence of life is sublimated, and the lifespan is naturally extended. He used to be a very old man, but now his back doesn't hurt anymore, his back is no longer sore, and he can walk with strength. Of course, the hair that fell out didn't grow back. Visible to the naked eye, he has become a strong man with a bald head. His physical strength and strength are at the peak of his life. All these changes caused this man named Cyberta to completely fall into the frenzy of believing in Chen Heioran. Of course, this time there is such a great gain in faith improvement, and part of it is due to the frequent washing of the Shikshan Chapel. In daily worship, deep in believers' faith. Although this wave spent a lot of money, it still earned a lot. Cyberta, I think you are devout and from today onwards, I will grant you the status of God's chosen one. Afterwards, Chen Heioran allocated a little divine power to cleanse Cyberta's body and soul. Only devout believers and above the level of belief can withstand the divine power of their own gods. Otherwise, divine power would be highly poisonous to these mortals. After this operation, Cyberta's physique and lifespan were greatly extended again. The bronze humans around were envious. This is the power of example, Chen Heioran wants to set an example among believers. After using the advanced bloodline card, the mountain trolls and bronze humans under Chen Heioran's command are now races with a race potential of D. War potential has gone up to a new level. Back home, he checked the legend of the tea stove. The distance ignoring matching battle once every three days has been cooled down again. Chen Heioran enters the tea stove legend. However, he froze. Next to the original matching button, there was a bloody matching button. This is. The information of the legend of the tea stove came into my mind. Death God Domain War. The Death God Domain War is a death battle between true believers. When a believer dies, he dies. Within the human alliance, in the Death God's Domain War, the opponent's God's Domain cannot be destroyed, because when the God's Domain is destroyed, the gods will also fall. However, this is a limit on the intensity of competition within the human race, and a protective measure for the weak. In the legend of the tea stove, it is not known whether there is such a mechanism. That is to say, if Chen Heioran could be destroyed, once Chen Heioran was defeated, then, you will die. The risks are high, and the benefits are unknown. Chen Heioran clicked on the description and checked it. The legend of the tea stove, in the God's Domain of Death, one can destroy the core of the god's domain, kill the gods, plunder the understanding and knowledge of the other party's priesthood, and expand one's own priesthood. It really works. This is the real game of death. The so-called dark duel. Chen Heioran fell into deep thought. Tea stove legend. It is worth noting that the expansion of the priesthood has its limits and can only be based on one's initial priesthood. Well, 
This is easy to understand. For example, the god of rivers has expanded to the priesthood of the sea, but it is impossible to expand to Thor all at once. You can pass the priesthood of the river, the priesthood of the ocean, the priesthood of the storm, the priesthood of thunder. Such a path to achieve. According to Chen Heorin's understanding, the so-called expansion of clergy is considered after becoming a true god. Unexpectedly, the demigod stage is also possible. It may be because the knowledge involved is too advanced, so the school did not involve it. Legend of the Tea Stove In addition, every time you win a war in the God of Death, you can draw a bloody card pack. Scarlet Card Pack What it is, there was no such thing in the previous life. Chen Heorin was curious, but he didn't need to worry about it so much, it was just a card pack. Dark Duel, a game of life and death. It's so exciting. I choose, challenge. Chen Heorin took a deep breath. If he wants to make progress, it is impossible not to take some risks. His parents in this body also fell in the war of gods. Many classmates who were in the same class together may also perish on the battlefield in the future. Clans contending for hegemony is no joke. It is conceivable that in the future, on the battlefield of god wars, there will be wars in the domain of death gods. It would be good to take this opportunity to see the cruelty in advance. Just after Chen Heorin chose to participate in the Death God Domain War match. The blood red light dyed Chen Heorin's divine domain, with a touch of ominous. The bronze humans and mountain trolls who lived in the domain of the gods also stopped what they were doing at this time, and looked at the sky with a trace of anxiety. My believers, evil gods are about to invade our world. This is a life and death war. Defend your homeland, and the battle of gods is about to begin. Chen Heorin immediately issued an oracle. For the glory of our Lord, to defend our homeland. Fight, fight. For the glory of our Lord, to defend our homeland. Fight, fight. The mountain troll roared up to the sky, and the bronze humans dropped their work and began to gather. Women and children were also ready for battle. The blood color is unknown, dyeing the pupils of the creatures red. The boundless desire to kill disturbed the breath. A red spatial channel connected a god realm in the distance with Chen Heorin's god realm. A ferocious skull hangs above the entrance of the space passage. I just woke up. Which wants to fight with me in the death god domain battle? The idea that came out of the passage seemed very frightening. Question mark. Take advantage of his unpreparedness and fool him directly. As soon as Chen Heorin had a thought, he directly let the mountain troll take the lead, followed by the elite of the bronze humans. Like a sharp knife, it pierced straight into the depths of God's domain on the opposite side. Among them, Cybert's big bald head, holding a troll mace taller than others, was at the front of his horse. The strength of this person shocked the mountain trolls a little. Through the depressing blood red space channel, unfolding before Chen Heorin's army of followers was a horde of ogres. Ogre. This race, Chen Heorin has seen its information. The racial potential is D, not only physically strong, but also talented in witchcraft and potion configuration. It can be regarded as a race that can fight hand to hand and cast spells. Except for the serious defect of the ogre race being unstable in sensing energy, which leads to unstable casting, everything else is fine. At this point, it was clear that they were still in a hurry and not well organized. Once again, it proved the correctness of Chen Heorin rushing directly into the god's domain on the opposite side to catch him off guard. An ogre with a ring of skulls hanging around its neck jumped around like a god, roaring angrily. The appearance was a bit ridiculous, and under his urging, some of the ogres who were close to Chen Heorin rushed towards Chen Heorin's army. Ho 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 ho. On Han Han's expression, it seems that he doesn't take war seriously. I don't know, I thought I was going to rush up to give him a hug. Just as they were charging, the ogre behind the jumping god, who should be their shaman, shook his horn bone staff. A layer of red light covered the ogres in the front row. Roar. Wherever the red light went, the ogre's muscles swelled, and its eyes began to look strange. From a naive expression to a bloodthirsty and vicious expression. Is this, bloodlust? Unlike divine arts, these races that can sense energy and have extraordinary talents can awaken various spellcasting abilities. Like the Yanuk, the girl with long ponytail that Chen Heorin met before. However, the Fire Feather Sparrow did not activate its sense of energy into a spellcasting ability, but turned it into a blood talent. 
At this time, under the effect of this burst of bloodthirsty, the ogres all swelled in size as if they had blown up balloons. All screaming, they rushed towards the troll. However, the layer of red light emitted by the ogre shaman did not stop after covering the ogre warriors in the front row. Instead, it spread towards the mountain troll. Afterwards, the mountain trolls also received the stimulation of the bloodthirsty technique, each of them swelled up, and their fighting spirit became more vigorous. Seeing this scene, Chen Heorin was dumbfounded. Although it is well known that the ogre shaman's spellcasting ability is unstable. However, is it really good to add your buff to the enemy? This performance is too hip. As the saying goes, adding buffs to both sides means no buffs. The ogre shaman, a show operation, the effect is equal to nothing. Over the enemy's god's domain, there was a roar, like thunder, resounding for hundreds of miles. The ogres below were all trembling, feeling the anger of the gods they believed in. Chen Heorin couldn't help but laugh. The opponent made a mistake, and it's time to beat the dog in the water. This is a war in the god of death, a duel in darkness, and a sinking ship is death. At this time, Cyberta in the front row was full of muscles, with a big bald head, and hit the first ogre's chest directly. Chen Heorin heard the sound of the bald head smashing into the chest ribs of the ogre. Tisk tisk tisk, this muscular guy is so expensive, there is no one else. At present, there are not many elite bronze human warriors like Cyberta. But Chen Heorin believes that with the continuous advancement of the race bloodline, it is possible to form the muscle army in his mind in the future. The ogre next to him saw the timing and gave Cyberta a club. Clang, when it hit Cyber Tower's head that had been baptized by divine power, there was a sound of metal clashing. Sai Boda shook his head, except for a little concussion, he seemed to be fine. The long sword rises, the long sword falls. An ogre is killed. Cyber Tower is like a sharp knife, piercing the enemy's heart. Chen Heorin was quite satisfied with Cyberta's performance, and it was not in vain to mention him as God's chosen. This guy's faith and ability to play are top notch. It seems that there are more rules to be added in the future. Not only must you have enough faith, but you must also be able to fight in order to become the God's Chosen. God's Chosen will establish a stable channel of divine power between believers and gods. He will consume the divine power of the gods, but will also give the gods more faith. Most importantly, the Chosen One can break through the limits of his own race. Cybertar the Chosen leads, followed by the Mountain Trolls. All of a sudden, this group of ogres was defeated. Chen Heorin. That's it. Chen Heorin didn't expect that in the first battle of the Death God Domain War, the opponent was a bit weak. Is there any other way? I still have two magical techniques in my hands. Finally, the opposite god made a move. I saw sparks flying all over the sky, and the surrounding temperature suddenly rose a bit. The scorching fire, floating in the air, against the blood-red sky, has a kind of beauty of the end of the evening. These countless sparks condense into a cloak on each ogre's body, shining brightly. On the naive ogre, these glittering cloaks, at first glance, were a little funny, even ridiculous. But the astonishing heat revealed in it made Chen Heorin dare not underestimate it. Flowing fire cloak. A voice containing anger roared, it was the voice of the enemy god. Yes, very energetic, unleashed magic, and also called names. These cloaks, condensed with amazing fire energy, constitute the ogre's defensive power. Any attack on them will be countered by fire attributes. This time, every time the mountain troll in the front row attacked, he would suffer a lot of damage. Chen Heorin frowned. The divine spell, Holy Shield, was thrown out. Each and every warrior was surrounded by golden holy shields. Sparks to golden light. Every collision is overflowing with sparks. The flowing fire cloak was shaking, and so was the holy shield. The battlefield was completely plunged into a bitter battle of blood and blood. Different from the virtual god's domain war, here, death is death. Chen Heorin kept his eyes fixed on the battlefield. As the battle progressed, the holy shield and the cloak of flowing fire dissipated one after another. Then, the first bronze human warrior fell, then the second. But Chen Heorin kept holding back his patience and did not release the magic card courage. He is waiting. Wait for the next move of the god on the opposite side. The battle became more and more cruel, and Cyberta's whole body was already stained with blood. 
A mountain troll could no longer sustain the heavy injuries, and slowly fell to the ground. When he died in battle, the skin of his whole body was almost completely scorched. This is the first mountain troll to die. Just when Chen Heioran couldn't help but want to make a move. The enemy gods moved. A burst of obscure, gloomy, chaotic language resounded through the sky. It was as if some key had been activated. The ogre took out a purple medicine bottle one by one. The medicine in the medicine bottle had a strange purple luster, and then drank it. Chen Heioran. Chen Heioran looked at the ogre's barely covered body, and then a big question mark appeared. Where did they get this potion? Then, his eyes turned to a suspicious part. This trick is too wild. Chen Heioran felt a little nauseous. The potion was actually hidden there before. This potion should be the so-called witch potion. As the ogres drank the purple potion one by one, their injuries were healed quickly, and they became a little swollen because of the bloodthirsty technique. With huge muscles it is also shrinking rapidly, and the whole face is also covered with a layer of gray. It seems that this medicine heals the body quickly at the cost of consuming life essence. After this, the ogre's state suddenly reached the almost full state before the war, but the effect of their bloodlust was invalid. This potion is a bit abnormal, the healing ability, Chen Heioran doesn't know the sequelae, but as far as the current performance is concerned, some seriously injured ogres are alive and kicking again. However, he smiled, and this side is not bad. Magic card, courage, activated. Roar. The entire group of mountain trolls and bronze human warriors let out a roar that shook the sky, full of indomitable momentum and the will to fight to the end. Looking at this scene, the god on the opposite side had an ominous feeling. The magic card, courage, is to give your followers infinite courage. On Chen Heioran's side, when the group opened the barbarian king, the god chosen Saibota, who took the lead in the charge, became even braver. Holding a mason wearing a shiny bald head, he charged left on the battlefield right burst, causing a lot of confusion. The ogre shaman on the opposite side also seemed to have noticed the existence of Cyber Tower, shaking the horn bone staff, a head-sized fireball slowly condensed. Then it was thrown towards Cyber Tower fiercely. Cyber Tower did not avoid it after seeing it. In the courage state, what skills cannot be used? However, he wasn't going to eat a fireball for nothing. The whole person jumped up in the air, and with the help of his waist, the mace slashed down from the air, just hitting the fireball rushing towards him. The two ogre warriors who wanted to attack were killed. This scene made the ogre shaman furious. Sai Boda was full of fighting spirit, licked his chapped lips, and looked at the ogre shaman provocatively. Then he took steps, lined up the ordinary soldiers on both sides, and rushed directly towards them. On the battlefield, Soldiers fought against soldiers, generals, generals, and fights against each other. As time goes by, the state of the ogres after drinking the witch medicine is also constantly declining, and the side effect of the witch medicine seems to have existed from the beginning, that is, the extraction consumes their life essence, so the power of ogres is far less than that under the blessing of bloodthirsty before, but the mountain trolls still have bloodthirsty. One increase and one decrease, the power crushing in it is not a small gap. More importantly, after several rounds of fighting with the ogre shaman, Cyberta let out a roar of victory that resounded across the battlefield. The head of the ogre shaman has already taken its head. The morale of the ogres was quickly low. These stupid creatures can only display stronger combat effectiveness under the command of the shaman. To make matters worse, after drinking the witchcraft, the ogre's complexion was gray, and after being continuously traumatized, they gradually began to show signs of dryness. Chen Heioran also noticed that there was no blood flowing from the wounds of the ogres attacked here. This state is very strange. Finally, the first ogre couldn't hold it anymore, every inch of its skin was cracking, like a clay pot carved from clay, it broke into pieces and fell to the ground. On the other hand, Chen Heioran's state of courage has not disappeared. Some mountain trolls were dripping with blood, and they looked like they were going to die in the next second but they were still fighting in front of them, and they were even recovering blood because of their self-healing ability. There was no suspense in the end of this war. From the anxiety at the beginning, fighting against each other, to the fact that the ogres on the other side still couldn't resist the line of defense after taking the witchcraft. Compared with where resistance, I dare not say the strongest, Chen Heioran feels that he should be stronger than most demigods. 
the formation of ogres was gradually torn apart. Like a chain reaction after the dominoes fell, the ogre army began to collapse across the board, and the ogre captives were captured one by one, their hands and feet were tied, and these would soon be used as sacrifices. In the Death God Domain War, the captured enemy believers can be used as sacrifices to sacrifice to their own gods, so that Chen Heioran can gain a lot of faith points. After the war, the battlefield was full of limbs and arms, dripping with blood. The blood-red sky reflects the blood-red earth. A battle of gods is about to end. On Chen Heioran's side, the coalition of mountain trolls and bronze human warriors was marching steadily towards the core of the enemy's god's domain step by step. The ogre villages and huts where the army marched were all burned down. This is the cruelty of the war in God's domain. The god on the other side doesn't know where it is in the distant crystal wall system. If it is pulled away by the legend of the tea stove to work, it will lose its life. The convenience of winning the god's domain war is a matter of course for harvesting spoils. With the march of the army, Chen Heioran relied on his followers, and the range of induction was constantly advancing. When he reached the center of the opponent's domain, Chen Heioran sensed a majestic power hidden deep within a towering snow peak. It is a collection of laws and mysteries. That's right, that's the core of God's domain. The core of God's domain is the initial starting point of the creation of God's domain, and it is where the Godhead of the gods lies. There, there is the mystery of the law of priesthood cohesion. Chen Heioran's God's domain also has the core of God's domain. That is, during the ceremony of becoming a god, the silver-white arm of the human race's powerful mechanical descendant pressed the world tree seed between his eyebrows. The seeds of the world tree contain infinite possibilities, which can be used as the starting point to derive the domain of the gods, and also give birth to the godhead of the demigod. It is said that before the world tree civilization is captured, human beings cannot achieve everyone to become a god, and every demigod needs to go through untold hardships to condense the godhead. Finally, he found the core of God's domain on the opposite side. Next, you have to see what priesthood is on the other side, and whether you can absorb the mysteries of laws related to your priesthood. At this time, there was still a blood-red light in the sky. It seems that the mysterious power of the tea stove legend blocked the intervention of other gods. After all, if this god is not a wild god, or a lone god, but a god with a heritage of racial civilization, it is impossible for his fellow clan to sit back and watch him be killed without saving him. It's like if an outer god invades the territory of the human gods alliance and wants to kill the human gods, other human gods will definitely support them. It is very likely that the legend of the tea stove blocked this battle in the domain of death, or blocked their rescue. This is a real one-on-one -on -one death game. With the complete annihilation of the opponent's believers, Chen Heioran can even use his own divine power in the opponent's divine domain. The roar of the opponent's god resounded through the sky, but it was nothing but impotent rage. Now he can only watch Chen Heioran kill himself step by step. Why, why didn't the true gods in the clan come to save me? It's going to die, it's going to die, I don't want to die, I just became a demigod not long ago. Anxious and helpless, he could only cry out in vain. With a move of Chen Heioran's divine power, the towering snow peak in the center of the opponent's domain collapsed inch by inch. Like a piece of tender tofu, it was quickly pulled apart, revealing an orange cube in the center. This square is the core of the other party's god's domain, and it is also the other party's godhead. In essence, as long as the godhead is immortal, even if the body of the god is destroyed, it doesn't matter, it can be reshaped soon. Godhead is the core. With Chen Heioran's divine power, the orange-red cube was crushed to pieces. Ah! A demigod who had lived a long life and watched for a long time fell. The so-called gods are both powerful and fragile. The law knowledge contained in the cube was absorbed by Chen Heioran. It turns out that this demigod's priesthood is wildfire and witch potion. It can be regarded as a relatively partial priesthood, and the path is relatively wild. Most of the mysteries of the laws cannot be accommodated by Chen Heioran's priesthood, and thus dissipate. A small part is poured into Chen Heioran's healing and guardian priesthood. Tip your divine spell, Holy Shield, has mutated, and the Holy Shield has a burning effect. Hint, you have learned the magic, secret witch potion. Effect. The creatures who drink the magic potion can restore a lot of health 
but the flesh and blood will become stiff and their strength will decrease. Note your healing priesthood offsets the negative effect after the magic effect disappears. Not bad harvest. Chen Heioran felt that he was taking a step forward with his understanding of guarding and healing together. After Chen Heioran shattered the opponent's godhead, the entire land of God's domain began to gradually collapse. The earth, the air, and the scorching sun are constantly disintegrating. Chen Heioran returned to his God's domain with his army of believers. Then, the space channel was disconnected. The first death God domain war is over. Chen Heioran counted his losses. A dozen mountain trolls were killed. The number of bronze humans killed in battle is relatively heavy, after all, there is no healing ability. However, compared to his progress in the priesthood, the gains far outweigh the losses. The most important thing is that Chen Heioran looked at the ogres tied up like rice dumplings one by one on the ground, and these ogres were about to bring him rich rewards of faith points. So an oracle. My believers, in order to celebrate our successful defense of our homeland, the sacrifice begins. Sai Boda looked fanatical. For the glory of God Yanwang, these pagan enemies are the best sacrifices we can offer to the gods. After the war, there will naturally be a grand sacrifice. This sacrifice is also a grand feast. After this sacrifice, Chen Heioran saw that his belief points were soaring, and these beliefs were continuously transformed into Chen Heioran's divine power. The double progress of the growth of divine power and the perception of priesthood brought Chen Heioran one step closer to igniting the divine fire. After finishing the sacrifice, the next step is to look at the rewards of the tea stove legend. After winning a bloody match, you can open a bloody card pack. Chen Heioran is looking forward to it, not knowing what kind of card will be drawn this time. He accepted the reward lightly. A blood-red box appeared, with an ominous glow. Afterwards, a hammer inlaid with a skull appeared in the void, and the skull even smiled at Chen Heioran twice. Seeing this scene, Chen Heioran touched his nose unconsciously. This tea stove legend is a little bit of a bad taste. A blood-red box was slowly smashed open, and three cards emerged. No golden legends. Chen Heioran was slightly disappointed. But it can't be expected that all the handles will be golden legends, right? My hands are not so popular yet. The three cards are respectively. Building card. Silver Bone Chapel often worshipping here can continuously cleanse the body of believers and greatly enhance the toughness of the body. Note. It can be combined with Stone Heart Chapel, Golden Soul Chapel, and Steel Skin Chapel to form a holy church. It turned out to be the Holy Church. Chen Heioran was shocked when he saw this first card. These four building cards can actually form a sanctuary. The so-called sanctuary is a special building with a sky-defying effect in the game. The soldiers who come out of the temple are called Templar warriors. The Templars are excellent troops in terms of soul, will, and body. He is immune to fear, charm, illusion, mind control, wither, shock, aging and other negative effects and control effects. In a word, even if he doesn't wear any armor, he is still an iron bump that makes opponents sick and headaches. If you don't eat most of the control, it's extremely hard, so you can only grind your blood slowly, and then solve it. From a practical point of view, he is more resistant than many behemoths. Although the giant beast is strong, it will suffer a lot of negative effects and control effects. Affected by a fear, he ran away. Can you count on them to stabilize the resistance line? The most perverted point is, Chen Heioran remembers. Templars can add blood and shields to themselves. These two points make them really stand on the same level as the giant beast compared to the slightly thin body of the giant beast. The ability to resist wires is first class and stronger. Looking at the sacred church Chen Heioran salivated. It's a pity that four building cards are needed to form it. The other two cards that were drawn were Creature card, Wolf meant bloodthirsty and aggressive, average attack and defense abilities, no talent for energy sensing, amazing fecundity, estrus all the time, racial potential E. Building card, Melting heart pool, it can enhance the creature's response to fire attribute energy, activate the fire attribute bloodline talent and fire attribute spellcasting ability. Chen Heioran looked at these two cards, but they were useless. Jackals are the strongest of the cannon fodder races. Compared with the goblin's combat effectiveness, it is still much stronger. 
However, now that Chen Heioran's strength is improving rapidly, the jackals with a race potential of E will soon be unable to keep up with Chen Heioran's footsteps. At that time, a huge amount of resources will be spent to promote the wolf man and activate the blood talent. Time-consuming and labor-intensive. Moreover, Nals don't do production, so once their combat power can't keep up with Chen Heioran's progress, they will be useless. As for Melting Heart Pool. Mountain trolls are sensitive to earth attributes and insensitive to fire attribute energy, so they don't match. Just choose Silver Bone Chapel. After the decision was made, the other two cards slowly dissipated into the air. Only the building card remains, Silver Bone Chapel. With a thought, Chen Heioran came to the top of the Stone Heart Chapel in God's Domain. In the vast land, a mountain range hovers over the land like a jade dragon. The Stone Heart Chapel is located on this mountain range. There, there is a statue of Chen Heioran, holding a medicine pot in one hand and a solid shield in the other, with a compassionate expression, watching the people who come to worship. This statue is made of an unknown stone, and it conveys a meaningful meaning that you will be blown by the wind and rain. I am like a stubborn stone, firm and never retreating, which infects the believers who come to worship. In the Grand Stone Heart Chapel, believers are worshipping almost all the time. Please heal and protect the truth, my Lord bless my father to survive this illness. May the Lord grant me an unwavering will. My Lord, please forgive the weakness in my heart. There are various words of prayer. The hope of the believers, little by little, converges into faith. The prayers of all living beings are a huge power. The gods who make good use of this power can reach the extreme of great power. These words suddenly flashed in Chen Heioran's mind. This sentence is engraved in the title of the book, What is a God? Title page. Almost everyone has read it, but until now, Chen Heioran has a deeper feeling for it. With the victory of this wave of death wars and the sacrifice of prisoners of war, Chen Heioran's divine power has accumulated a lot, and it is time to establish Chen Heioran's priest system under his command. The so-called priests are those who choose devout believers, who can accept the divine magic bestowed by the gods. For example, Holy Shield. With Chen Heioran's permission, a priest who devotes himself to practice can use part of the power of the gods to use the magic, Holy Shield. But the effect will be much weaker than Chen Heioran's direct cast. Priests can be regarded as the tentacles of the gods. They can help themselves better respond to the prayers of their followers, and they are the representatives of the gods on earth. Compared with the chosen one, the priest has a smaller connection with the gods. Therefore, the level of belief is lower, and it is necessary for devout believers to start. Chen Heioran glanced at it, and now he has more than 20 devout followers. With the addition of Stone Heart Chapel, the faith of believers is constantly deepening, and new devout believers will appear every once in a while. My believers, I will establish a priest system today. Twenty-six believers, including Lilith and Uris, have pious beliefs. From today, they will be priests. Lilith serves God devoutly and is appointed as the patriarch. When the oracle is issued, it means that a new rule is established in the domain of the gods. This is called a Lilith believer, and it is also a fanatic level of belief. Most importantly, with a good image, as the patriarch of the pastor, it is perfect to spread the glory of God. At this time, the faces of more than 20 believers who were touched by the gods were all ecstatic. This is the favor of the gods, and this is the supreme glory. With a thought in Chen Heioran's mind, divine power fell from the sky like dots of golden light and penetrated into the believer's body, changing the essence of their lives. During the long-term practice, priests will get closer and closer to their gods, and they can be regarded as countless weak clones of the gods they serve. The second oracle was issued. The chosen one, Cyberta, has a brilliant record. He will be the head of the Stone Heart Warrior Group. He will select warriors with strong will to guard and form the Stone Heart Warrior Group. This Stone Heart Warrior Corps, Chen Heioran decided to use it as the prototype of the future Templar. After hearing this, Cyberta was very excited, and his bald head became brighter. It seems that in the future, a group of bald fighters will appear. After setting up the priest system, Chen Heioran decided to put down the Silver Bone Chapel. Divine power moved slightly. Next to Stone Heart Chapel, a mountain peak was neatly erased like confetti. On the same spot, 
a silver bone chapel that occupies an area similar to that of the stone heart chapel stood out. Silver holy light shines on the dome of the building. The blue of the sky, the pure white of the snow-capped mountains and the holy silver echo each other. Like the stone heart chapel, there is also a statue of Chen Heoran in the silver bone chapel. The difference is that the statue of Chen Heoran here is made of holy silver. Quote. Under the radiance of the holy silver, the statue of Chen Heoran reveals a sense of inviolability and holiness. With silver as bone, never yield. This is the meaningful meaning revealed by the statues in the silver bone chapel. At this time, outside the silver bone chapel, the believers watched the mountain peak being wiped away instantly, and a grand chapel rose from the ground. They all knelt on their knees devoutly and worshipped in the direction of the God. A miracle, a miracle has come again. My Lord is so great that even the mountains are as dust before Him. Fanatical prayers resounded over the snow-covered mountains all year round. Dude, almost an avalanche. The sound of prayers shook the sky, and Chen Heoran quickly used his divine power to protect them. After sending an oracle to Patriarch Lilith, asking her to guide the believers to worship in the new silver bone chapel, Chen Heoran's mind withdrew from the domain of the gods. Just when Chen Heoran was about to quit the legend of the tea stove, he found an icon in the shape of a treasure chest shaking slightly under the bloody match. What's this? There are additional rewards. He tapped the treasure chest. Legend of tea stove, the believer race under your command provides a chance to advance the race. Chen Heoran was ecstatic. Are the rewards for this blood match so rich? In addition to plundering all the priesthood rules of the enemy gods, drawing another bloody card pack can actually provide a chance to advance the bloodline. Although the risks are high, the rewards are really attractive. Chen Heoran was delighted. So which one to choose? Mountain trolls or bronze humans, Chen Heoran mused. After thinking about it, choose the mountain troll to advance. After all, mountain trolls have a unique self-healing ability. Speaking of this, Chen Heoran is a little ashamed. Although his priesthood is the god of healing and protection, so far, except for what he just harvested, the magic, secret witchcraft can provide a certain healing ability, and everything else is plus a guardian of anti-strike ability. Compared with his priesthood of healing, it seems a bit unrealistic, but he has gone a long way on the way of protection. All the mountain trolls in the god's domain are screaming up to the sky, the power from the depths of their blood is constantly activating the potential of their bodies, and the tendons of the mountain trolls are constantly expanding. All the muscles in his body are bulging. From the neck to the back, and then to the thighs, the strengthening of the advanced blood vessels is all round. While the power is greatly strengthened, the healing ability of these mountain trolls is also further strengthened. Self-healing ability, to put it bluntly, is the ability of cell division and regeneration. Under the advanced power of blood, their cell division and regeneration ability has been greatly strengthened. Wound. Then, it will be healed in a moment, and not even a scar will be left. This recovery ability is really abnormal, Chen Heoran secretly thought. This is not over yet, the mountain troll's stature is still growing, from more than 3 meters before, until it finally grows to almost 5 meters. What surprised Chen Hao even more was that the hair on the mountain troll's body was constantly falling out. Um, what happened? The more advanced the race of believers under my command, the less hairy they are. Could it be that mountain trolls have to become bald? At this time, the orb of the gods is prompting madly. Tip your believer race, mountain troll, has advanced to become an earth spirit troll. It turns out that not only the strength and self-healing ability of the mountain trolls have been greatly enhanced, but also their sensitivity to earth energy has been further enhanced, and even the ability of earth attribute energy has reached an excellent level. Just after the race is advanced, Chen Heoran even saw a few mountain trolls with outstanding talents, condensing a shield composed of earth attribute energy directly in front of him. The racial advancement given by the legend of the tea stove is much higher than the strengthening direction of the few mountain trolls he saw in the amber domain trading market. Information in the Orb of the Gods. Earth Spirit Troll, it is advanced from the Mountain Troll family. It has excellent attack and defense capabilities, and has a strong self-healing ability. Unless its head is cut off, even if its limbs are severed, it can regenerate. The induction of Earth Attribute Energy is very good, and the racial potential is circa. 
These earth spirit trolls gave Chen Heorin the feeling that they were even stronger than the flaming feather sparrow race when they fought against the girl with long ponytails. Chen Heorin now has a lot of divine power and faith points, so he directly uses divine power to speed up the time in the province. The advantage of this is that it does not cost the common currency, but the disadvantage is that it consumes a little more divine power. But he doesn't care, anyway, after 7 days, he can do another blood match, and then he can harvest another wave. In the next half a month, it was very peaceful. Go to class, clubs to blow water, and it will pass quickly. Soon it will be St. Temilk's Day. The 7 day holiday is here. After this holiday is the midterm exam. In the club activity room, Chen Heorin is waiting for the arrival of the three seniors, who will set off to the beach from here. Speaking of which, since junior high school, this is the first time to go to the beach with several girls, and he looks forward to it. The first one to join the club was Xu Xiaoman. Wearing white short sleeves and a small sun hat, senior sister Xu Xiaoman looked full of fighting spirit. She planned to do more battles at the seaside according to the previous plan. The second person to come in was senior Lin Nanshi, still yawning, as if she hadn't slept enough. Senior Nancy's dress made Chen Heorin's eyes shine. The clothes on her body seemed to be a little too small, which perfectly outlined her curves. Well, compared to senior sister Xiaoman and senior sister Nancy, senior sister Xiaoman lost. Chen Heorin said with emotion. The third person to come in was the president Lu Lili Senpei. Her long black hair draped casually around her ears, and a water blue dress made her look full of girlish air. Her demeanor belonged to that kind of calm and easy, a faint fragrance floated into Shen Heorin's nose like a gust of wind. Everyone has arrived, then let's go. Senior sister Riri said. Nancheng number. Three middle school where Chen Heorin is located, in Nanhao Mansion, next to Nanhao Mansion, there is a blue sea named Seto Jung Sea. This is a place where people in Nanhao Mansion often go on vacation. At this time, there are not many people by the sea, even when they are on vacation, because the population density in the amber domain is not very high. The blue sea, the blue sky, the fine white sandy beach, everything is extremely peaceful and beautiful. Chen Heorin lay on the beach, basking in the sun comfortably. His mind was immersed in his god's domain. After half a month of continuous time acceleration, the number of earth spirit trolls in god's domain reached more than 200, and the number of bronze humans and blue humans exceeded 1000. The increase in the number of believers brought him an increase in faith points and a rapid increase in divine power. He looked to the side, senior sister Xu Xiaoman had gone somewhere to find someone to fight against. Riri Senpei was sitting under a parasol holding a book and reading quietly. Senior sister Nancy was playing beach volleyball on the beach. The volleyball was bouncing and bouncing. Under the sun, Chen Heorin was a little dazzled. During this leisurely vacation time, a discordant voice broke the peace. I actually met you here, said a voice with a trace of anger. Zhang Heorin instinctively felt that these words were addressed to himself. He looked in the direction of the sound, and saw a girl with fiery red hair and a long ponytail looking at him. Is her, it was the girl with the long ponytail who was plucked by Chen Heorin in the Lingzi God training gym. At that time, she also added Chen Heorin's citizen account, planning to settle accounts with him. It's just that there hasn't been any information in the past half month, and Chen Heorin almost forgot about her. That, Chen Heorin asked, are you going to fight? The girl with the long ponytail looked back guiltily, as if confirming something. And said, yeah, that's right. I'm going to get the place back. So, right here, Chen Heorin asked. However, let's say it in advance, this time the bet is 100,000 common currency. 100,000 is 100,000. The girl said angrily. Sha Yan Yan challenges you to the virtual god's domain. Chen Heorin accepted without hesitation. The space channel slowly connects the god domains on both sides. On Chen Heorin's side, more than 200 mountain trolls and more than 1,000 bronze human warriors were already ready. They swarmed up and rushed into the space channel, without any tactics, without any formation, because there was no need at all. In just half a month, Chen Heorin felt that he could fight against several of his previous selves, and his strength had doubled several times. What tactics would he need in a crushing situation? Sha Yan Yan was taken aback, 
She didn't expect Chen Heioran to rush in without caring about the formation of troops. Sha Yan Yan commanded the Flame Feather Sparrows to rush towards Chen Heioran. The number increased a lot compared to last time. It seems that the other party also accelerated the time in God's domain and spent a lot of resources. Moreover, the temperature of the flames emitted by the Flame Feather Sparrow was much higher than before, but Chen Heioran's Earth Spirit Troll had undergone a racial advancement, and the Bronze Humans had also undergone a racial advancement. Not to mention, what Chen Heioran is holding now is the secret witch medicine that can restore a large amount of life. Just look at Sha Yan Yan on the opposite side, who can force me to use a few magic spells. Chen Heioran issued an oracle directly. Push and crush. The four words are gone. Cyberta took the lead, sending out a bloody battle cry. Sha Yan Yan didn't stand facing each other, and kept flying kites in the sky. Shish. Stone spears condensed in front of the Earth Spirit Troll, and were thrown fiercely under the Earth Spirit Troll's thick arms. But Flame Feather Sparrow's figure was very agile, flashing past quickly. Chen Heioran understood that his attack against air power was indeed relatively weak, with relatively few methods. The bronze humans here also shot a lot of arrows with bows and arrows, but with little effect. But Chen Heioran's purpose is not here, it is enough to harass and consume energy. On the other hand, the Flame Feather Sparrow's condensed fire attack caused much less damage than before. Almost no damage was done to Chen Heioran's army, and Chen Heioran repeated his old trick, dismantling the bird's nests in Sha Yan Yan's divine domain one by one. The result of the war is very obvious, Flame Feather Sparrow is still exhausted. But it was even worse than last time, because Chen Heioran didn't even use a magic spell. How could this be? After the defeat in the war, Sha Yan Yan looked devastated and completely defeated. In the past half a month, I have spent my mind to guide the believers to develop civilization, and use various resources to strengthen the believer race under my command. But the result was worse than last time, the person in front of him improved faster than himself. How about it, are you convinced? Chen Heioran provoked, how about making an appointment next time? Tip your account will receive 100,000 common currencies. This guy didn't think about pity and pity at all, he just thought about how to drain Sha Yan Yan more. Just when Chen Heioran finished speaking, a cold voice came out from the side. Sister, what are you doing? Chen Heioran turned his head and saw a young man with a pale face who was speaking, staring at a pair of dead fish eyes. An aura from this young man instinctively gave Chen Heioran an uncomfortable feeling. Sha Yan Yan felt guilty, I am meeting a friend. Chen Heioran asked, how about it, let's challenge again next time. Challenge. The pale young man glanced at Chen Heioran. Sister, did you lose or win just now? I. Sha Yan Yan was speechless for a moment. The pale-faced young man turned his head to Chen Heioran, and said proudly, You actually defeated my sister, I will teach you a lesson. Chen Haonan's face also turned cold, this young man was a bit aggressive when he spoke. Okay. He didn't say much, the bet is still 100,000 common currency. He he, watch me kill all your believers to water my domain of God. The young man's pale face began to reveal a strange flush. He he, the tone of this guy is really not small. Chen Heioran chuckled. So, let's get started. Just finished a virtual God's domain war, there is no need to rest, just start again. No, what I'm talking about is not the war of the virtual gods, but the war of the death gods. The pale young man said every word. Sha Shin, what are you doing? It's just an ordinary sparring, why did you choose the death god domain war, are you crazy? Sha Yan Yan asked anxiously. She didn't expect her brother to play so big. It's interesting now, Chen Heioran's eyes narrowed. Unlike the blood match in the legend of the tea stove, the death match is held in the amber realm, the cradle of gods. At most kill the opponent's believers, and cannot attack the opponent's godhead. There is a tendency to kill other gods, and other powerful gods will intervene. In this realm of the cradle of gods, it is impossible to do evil. Chen Heioran was not afraid either, the young man in front of him was also a demigod. He wasn't afraid at all. The death god domain war begins. Chen Heioran vs Sha Shin. The space channel connects the two gods, and the war is imminent. Just connected to the opponent's domain, the believers on Chen Heioran's side covered their mouths and noses. 
Chen Heioran took a look, good guy. This Amoy has changed his god's domain into a rotten poisonous miasma, the stench is suffocating, and it is a biochemical attack. But this level of poisonous gas is nothing. It won't cause death, but it will make Chen Heioran's army fall into a weak state. However, the powerful recovery ability of the Earth Spirit Troll itself has a strong ability to resist toxins. Gulu Gulu. Green bubbles emerged from the poisonous miasma one by one, and then burst. Green gas floated in every corner of the opponent's domain. The mountain troll led the way, followed by the bronze human warriors. Step on the ground carefully one by one. Passing through a swamp, what unfolded before him was a flesh and blood cemetery. This is the first time Chen Heioran has seen such a disgusting god's domain. Groups of irregular flesh and blood scattered on the ground, exuding a stale breath. Flies and insects dance around, cockroaches, poisonous insects, and germs reproduce independently, and it seems to give people a sense of vitality, which is a strange vitality. In a rotting swamp, dead bodies are the best breeding ground for germs. These germs multiply, fission, and iterate rapidly. At this time, when Chen Heioran's army of believers came to this flesh and blood cemetery, some bronze human warriors in the team even showed symptoms of coughing and fever. This place. Chen Heioran frowned, very poisonous. At this moment, in the flesh and blood cemetery, groups of irregular flesh and blood began to assemble and turned into carrion one by one. No, it's not ordinary rotting corpses. Ordinary rotting corpses move slowly. These rotting corpses move swiftly, no different from living creatures. These carrion corpses seemed to be some kind of slender skeletal creatures, and their bodies were not swollen, but flexible and light. This feeling is a bit weird. What kind of job is this guy? Seeing that many people in the army of believers were infected with germs, Chen Heioran knew it. Time can no longer be delayed. To get started directly is to apply a holy shield technique to everyone on your side. Carrion corpses are highly poisonous, so it is better not to be scratched. This is a war in the domain of the gods of death, and if the believer dies, he dies. These nimble rotting corpses, with a trace of purple-green claws, grabbed onto the golden holy shield. Stabbed, there were some tooth-piercing sounds. Some flames burned along the parts where the rotting corpses touched the holy shield, and burned towards them. Don't forget, after Chen Heioran killed the god of wildfire and witch medicine, the holy shield technique already had a burning effect. Laugh. These rotting corpses all made ugly sounds like broken gongs. Apparently, the burning back injury attached to the holy shield technique has greatly restrained this kind of agile creature. The life hidden in the rot, obey my order, and pass on the rotten germs to them. Ha 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 ha. The sinister laughter of the pale young man resounded through the sky, revealing a hint of madness. His oracle sounded the trumpet. I saw, from the flesh and blood cemetery, suddenly there seemed to be a magnitude 8 earthquake. The ground split open, and a huge monster crawled out of the crack. This disgusting creature looks like an aggregate of countless organs. Eyes, noses, severed limbs, everywhere, stitched together. It's disgusting to see. This is. Bone demon. Chen Heioran has a serious face. Bone devils are creatures that are evil and chaotic. Chen Heioran has seen it in books, generally speaking, this kind of creature will only appear under the influence of the priesthood related to chaos. However, the alliance of human gods belongs to the camp of order. Just kidding, as a race that emphasizes rules and order, if humans use the method of the chaotic camp, how many people will die? No wonder Chen Heioran felt that this kid was abnormal from the very beginning. Although the bone demon is very strong, Chen Heioran is not a vegetarian. The cyber tower went up, and there were more than 20 priests behind here. After this period of practice, each one of them was able to release the weak version of the holy shield. One person resists, and more than 20 people add shields. Just ask if you are disgusting or not. The grave bone demon saw that the little creature in front of him was as annoying as a fly. The golden holy shield broke and came again, came and broke again. Chen Heioran was delighted to see it. Cyber Tower's strength is good, and every hit can cause a lot of damage to the Grave Bone Demon. The Grave Bone Demon roared again and again, but could not enter at all. On the other hand, the strange rotting corpses were also gradually cleared under the cooperation of the Earth Spirit Troll and the Bronze Human Warrior. 
However, in the team, many people have symptoms of poisoning and illness. Chen Heioran directly threw out the divine spell, Secret Witch Potion. This magical technique is to use Chen Heioran's priesthood in healing to activate the effect of the witch medicine carried by the warriors. All the believers and soldiers took out purple medicine bottles. Gulu Gulu. Drank it down. Some tired bodies immediately recovered full of vitality, and the injuries were recovering rapidly. More importantly, as the flesh and blood became stiff, toxins and germs could no longer function. The balance of victory has already tilted towards Chen Heioran. Kill. Charge. Kill. 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 For my lord. Go forward forever. The soldiers are all fighting spirit. The Stoneheart warriors of Cyberta, even with bald heads, rushed forward and charged. Just when Chen Heioran counterattacked. Within God's domain, a huge gap suddenly opened in the sky. This is. Crack in God's domain. This means that someone far more powerful than the demigod has made a move. With immense divine power, directly break through other people's domains. I saw a giant hand covering the sky protruding from the crack in the domain of the gods. This giant hand is about the same size as Shah Shin's god's domain. There was a slight pause, as if he was looking at the situation on the field. Afterwards, the entire giant hand went down fiercely. Boom. The earth wailed. The mountains and rivers are broken. Not good. His own army of believers is also under this cover. In an instant, the world was clear, as if time stood still. When the giant hand receded, Chen Heioran was relieved to see that his disciples were safe and sound. However, Sha Shin's army of believers was miserable. Instead of being beaten into pieces, it was completely evaporated. Rotten swamps, germs, rotting corpses, grave bone monsters, as if they never existed. On the earth, the grass grows and the warblers fly, and the nature is full of vitality. Chen Heioran, what's the situation? Was it just a hallucination? Or did it change the world in an instant, rewriting Sha Shin's God's Domain rules? Beyond God's Domain, by the sea, a silver-white spaceship appeared instantly. A figure jumped down from the sky. Dressed in a white training uniform, with sharp eyes and a vigorous figure. Master Domain Master. The master of the domain is here. Um. Only then did Chen Heioran see that a man he had seen on TV from time to time walked towards him. It is the domain owner of the Amber Domain, Wei Sheng. It's actually the domain owner. The giant hand that shrouded the sky just now must be the domain master. The domain master is the existence above the fifth level of the true god, the strongest in the amber domain. Why did you come here suddenly? It's me. No, it's Amoy. Sure enough, Chen Heioran saw a trace of fear on Sha Shin's face at this time. Wait until Wei Sheng, the owner of the amber domain, walks in front of Chen Heioran and Sha Shin. Suddenly he smiled. Both of you, please come with me. The voice was gentle, but unquestionable. In the next second, Wei Sheng teleported into the spaceship with Chen Heioran and Sha Shin. This time, Chen Heioran was extremely envious. If I can do this myself, I don't have to walk in class. But Chen Heioran also knew that he was thinking of peaches. In the Amber Domain, like the Cradle of Gods, you want to teleport. In addition to being superior in strength, one must also have a certain status and be approved by the domain owner. Citizen ID 573,289,114,396. Sha Shin, right. Sha Shin's already pale face turned even paler. Yes, yes. He spoke tremblingly. According to the records, your priesthood is the god of flowers and vitality. Hem. Sha Shin lowered her head, wondering what she was thinking. But as far as I'm in your god's domain, I don't see any flowers or vitality. Wei Sheng meant a lot. Can you explain? Sha Shin's tone was suddenly excited. What do you know? In my god's domain, all kinds of microorganisms multiply, even rotting corpses have their own consciousness and life, so they are not alive. This is more vigorous than before life. It turned out to be like this, Chen Heioran who was listening on the side suddenly realized. This guy's carrion is a living creature with its own consciousness, so it moves so fast. In a sense, it is basically two races with the traditional carrion. Quote. Is it a great vitality in decay? Wei Sheng seemed to be guiding. That's right. The real vitality is the selfless vitality. The grass grows and the warblers fly. 
Why is the germ reproduction not vitality? Fresh flesh and blood have their own vitality. Old corpses can also have their own vitality. True flowers should not only exist in fertile land. They should also bloom in rotting swamps. Wei Sheng clicked his tongue twice and sighed, Sha Xin, you have been corrupted by the dark side of the universe. Afterwards, Wei Sheng tapped Sha Xin's eyebrows lightly, and a strange wave slowly dissipated. A faint black smoke drifted out from between Sha Xin's eyebrows. The black smoke seemed to be alive, twisting its body in the air. Chen Heioran was slightly dazed, as if he saw countless insects wriggling in it. There are nematodes, corpse worms, tapeworms, maggots, beetles, etc. dancing in it. This wisp of black smoke seemed to want to get into Sha Xin's brow again, but Wei Sheng lightly shook it and turned it into powder. Me. Sha Xin finally stopped her fanatical expression and excited words. His expression was a kind of confusion just waking up from a big dream. Sha Xin, I checked your match three months ago. At that time, your god's domain was not like this. Wei Sheng said. Can you recall, what happened before? What happened? Sha Xin's eyes were blank, as if he was lost in memory. Half an hour. I remembered. It was a black rosé. I put that black rose into my god's domain. Then, as I spoke, Sha Xin's tone became agitated again. Dancing and dancing, looking crazy. It seems that just remembering that black rose will fall into some kind of strange influence. Wei Sheng tapped his forehead again, and Sha Xin recovered. She muttered to herself, Black roses, black roses. A black rose. Wei Sheng muttered to himself, I didn't expect it to be in a different form this time. Chen Heioran is listening. Suddenly, Wei Sheng glanced at Chen Heioran with a half smile. Chen Heioran consciously placed his right hand next to his mouth and made a gesture of zipping his mouth shut. Said, Boss, I will shut up. Sha Xin, have you heard of a loving father? Wei Sheng asked. Father, what is that? Sha Xin was at a loss. Chen Heioran's heart skipped a beat. He had seen the record of a loving father in the Sishin Research Institute. Loving father is another name for Nurgle. The god of life and plague advocates the equality of all living things, and he cares for all things equally. All these things, including various poisonous insects, cockroaches, and germs, Nurgle believes that they are also life, and the place full of these is also full of vitality. He showed his selfless and broad love. Therefore, he is called a loving father. Thinking of this, Chen Heioran thought of what he saw in Sha Xin's god's domain. There are poisonous miasma and poisonous insects everywhere, and rotting corpses and flesh and blood are everywhere. Nurturing endless poisons and germs. Sure enough, this is the demeanor of a loving father, Nurgle. So, is Sha Shin influenced by Nurgle? In a sense, this interpretation of priesthood cannot be said to be wrong. It's just that there is no doubt that the path is very wrong, and it is an evil path. Young man, your path is narrowed. Chen Heioran looked at Sha Shin and sighed secretly. Sha Shin, do you still remember how you got that black rose? Wei Sheng asked. It was given to me by a friend of mine, his name is Qin Ruai. Qin Ruai. Wei Sheng tapped in the spaceship to check. As the domain owner, he has the authority to view the information of all citizens in the domain. Is it this person? The image of a young man with a gentle smile was three-dimensionally projected into the spaceship. It's him. Sha Xin confirmed. Wei Sheng frowned. He died half a year ago. Chen Heioran was a little shocked. This means that someone has fabricated their identity. However, the citizen system in the Amber Domain is provided by the Alliance of Human Gods. This means that either the civil system of the Alliance of Human Gods has been mastered by someone, or the high level has been corrupted. Either way is terrifying, which means that evil gods can forge their identities in the territory of the Alliance of Human Gods, in various small realms, plant people, and corrupt the gods. Wei Sheng obviously thought of this too, his brows were tightly frowned, and he didn't say a word. The atmosphere was a bit depressing and dull. For a long time. Wei Sheng said, don't tell the outside world about today's matter. Words must be important. Like this kind of evil god, as long as you understand him deeply, he will attract his attention and attract unknown influence. Is it so scary? Chen Heioran thought of the Sishin Research Institute, inexplicably, a little worried. I hope these farces of demigods will not attract the attention of the loving father Nurgle. 
Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and support my channel.